Beyond Conventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP, and today we're excited to share some new developments that are happening here in Alone. We think you're really gonna appreciate them, especially if you're planning to visit or move here. We had a different video plan for today, but because the elections aren't over, we don't think you'll be that interested in watching it yet. And it's, uh, it's a little, I guess a little controversial, not political though, because we are not a political channel. But if you're interested in watching that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell or honk the horn like that guy just did when he saw us filming. <laughs> so you get the notification and don't miss the video next week, assuming the election is over. And hopefully it is yes. by then. <laughs> This is our first stop, the new restaurant. Yes, El Buen Gusto. We came and talked to the owner yesterday. He is a uh, native of Olón, and he was super excited about his new restaurant, and so are we. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's that sign up there, yes. right there, not that sign. It's not Jimmy Candle. <laughs> it's Buen Gusto. JP, it's a beautiful little cabbage. It is. Look at, oh, it's perfect. I know. That's There's perfect. another one right there. Wow. Wow, the community garden's looking really good. It is. It is. It's a lot more green than when we filmed over here the last time. I know. I'm jealous since nothing of ours is growing. Yeah, well, the, our squash looks good, but we still don't have a single squash. <laughs> no, we don't. But wow, the cabbage looks excellent. Look, at there's a really pretty one over there. I wonder what those green vines are. It's like Virginia creeper. I have no idea. Maybe it's pole beans. Could be. There's some broccoli. Look at that broccoli. Tiny Tim, you forgot your crutch. I know, but sometimes it's a little easier without it. I'm doing so much better. JP, look at this beautiful red cabbage. Wow. The leaves, are, it's gorgeous. Nature is so beautiful, isn't it? All the colors. Nature is beautiful. Ooh, there's a pepper. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm excited. Here's a little beet. This is so exciting. Here's a green pepper over there. Broccoli. I wonder what these are. Oh, peppers. Look at, there's a pepper. I think this is a papaya tree. A baby papaya tree. What do you think, JP? I have no thoughts at the moment. Because you're thinking I'm doing a terrible job recording? <laughs> it's like all over the place. Oh, I'm excited. Know. Look at, what are those? See those pretty uh, purple I blossoms? I don't know, but there's more peppers. That is like a perfect cabbage. Amelia, are these papayas new? Were they just planted? I'm not sure. I don't remember this being here, JP. I think that these are new. How fast do papayas um, grow? These things are massive if they just planted them back in like April. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these were not here. Yeah, let us know in the comments how long it takes for a papaya tree to grow. Well, look at all the little papayas that are coming in. I know, they're, this it's thing so is loaded cool. with papayas already. Yeah, it's really neat. One of my favorite fruits that I never ate before we moved here because they were too expensive and then they were never any good back <laughs> in the know. States. We're so spoiled with our fruit now. Yeah, we are. You better grab your crutch, Amelia. I know. She's be misbehaving. I wonder what this is. I don't know. This, this is, is really pretty. Interesting Look at looking. this. Wow. I know. It's beautiful. This looks like maybe more ornamental. Oh, I bet you these are all the herbs because... This, I don't know what that pretty red one, purpley color is, but these are those herbs that they said were medicinal, remember, JP? Oh yeah, is that what they said to wrap around yeah, your knee? Yeah, to make a poultice out of that. Yep, I think a lot of these are medicinal flowers. I think they are. plants. And then look at, there's another big papaya. Wow, look at that papaya. I don't know, I like their lettuce planters though. These are neat. And it looks delicious. I know. I could just nibble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe we need a salad, JP. I know. I'm hungry. I'm really excited about all the green. Look at here. all this greenery. Wow, that's basil. That's all basil oh, over wow. there. Are those beets? Is there a chard? I'm pretty sure I see a beetroot sticking out of there. Is that a beet? There. Oh, yeah, it is beet. Wow. And I think this is celery. A, a pio? Pio y remolacha. Remolacha. Beets. We found some yucca, Amelia. It looks like the castor plant that we saw out in the wilderness. It does look similar, yeah. but the castor plants are, the stems are a lot greener, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, it's, they are greener and the, more red on the, on the top. 
Yeah. But did you see this acelga behind you? Oh, I know. It looks amazing. Swiss chard. Yum. Okay, Rico. And an unhappy child, Amelia. Yeah, that happens. And there's uh, those, what we would call green onions, right? They call them cebolla blanca. Is that what that is? But these onions are delicious. Cebolla blanca. Oh, yeah, you're right. Those are cebolla blanca. Rabanos. That's um, blueberries, uh, right? No, Robinos are um, radishes. Radishes, that's radishes. They sell these delicious organic produce over at the Friday market in Punto Verde every Friday. Yeah, I'm excited to go see what they have tomorrow. We got a couple of the cabbages. Oh, so they good. really are good. All right, Amelia, I think we're ready to leave here, right? Yes, are we ready to walk around some more? Yes, and I'm so happy. My knee is feeling so much better. Unconventionals, I'm still using a crutch, as you can tell mostly <laughs> and my knee brace but I did my very first modified workout today it was Pilates and it felt really good I'm on the mend <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a Spanish plantation over here it's really pretty it's so green and lush on the street hola pero hola oh what a happy face what a pretty dog. Yeah, look at how pretty the pink is from the, I guess from these <laughs> petals. Wow, wow, look at that's that. That's so weird. It's all over the ground. That's really neat. This stuff is so cool. I know, it doesn't even look real. <laughs> it doesn't. There's such weird flowers and plants in this country. And the birds, oh my gosh, I never get tired hearing the birds. Nature is amazing. Es un gallo magnifico. Although he's not as magnificent as some of them that we see. So it's gallo y gallena, gallina, gallena. I can't remember if it's gallena or gallina. I always get it confused with galletas, yes, which is cookies. Yes, it is not a cookie. It's uh, no, a chicken. it's a chicken, not a, a cookie. Hen. A hen. A hen. <laughs> you scared him, Amelia. I guess so. We don't know what to make of the crunch. Or is it muleta? Crunch? Muleta? Muleta. Muleta. Not maleta, which is suitcase. It's muleta, crutch. There's a sleeping dog. And a giant speed bump. Why did the chicken stand in the middle of the road? Oh, he's very curious. Yeah, I guess he wanted to just look cool. Well, he did, or she did. I think that's a guy, right? I don't We're not chicken experts, people. Give us a break. Wow, he knows how to pose for the camera. Love these new murals that we have. How they really love their murals in Ecuador. This one is like a brush, very simple. Here is a mushroom and a cactus. Very interesting. All right, JP, get us some good tomatoes. I have my handy bag with me. Perfect. JP's much better about picking tomatoes than I am. Oh, that's that interesting. Oh. They look pretty good. They do look good. Some of them do. Oh, that's why you got to pick through. Alrighty. How many? Oh, I don't know. See, they look good. Let me see what do you got in there. Ah, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, maybe a little bit more. Un poquito más, por favor. Did you find some zucchini? I did, and I'm excited because we normally don't see these yellow ones here, but boy, they're so good. Is that a squash though, right? That's not a zucchini. It's, I, I don't know. I think it's a squash, right? Summer squash is what we call it in the U.S. I don't know what they call it here. And that's a zucchini. Zucchini, yes. This is our new apple repair center? Not just apple, but yeah, and I've heard really good things. What's the, what's the name of it? Servicio Tecnico Venta de Asesorios. Asesorios. <laughs> Easy for you to say, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then right next door is our brand new clinic, our vet clinic. Super excited for the new vet clinic, and we've heard they've been really busy already, which is great because obviously there is a great need and the demand is being filled. They're playing bingo behind you, Amelia. I know. One of these days we'll have to come join in. That would be fun. I'd love to come play bingo with the locals. They really helped out with the uh, clinic, too. Yeah. Oh, wait. So we have the OR. The operating room is ready. Yep. The OR. All right. 
Oh, on the sterilizing machine? No, that's the air conditioner. Oh, that's the air uh, conditioner. Somebody said that they're going to donate an autoclave, and we're waiting for that to happen. That would <laughs> Which be good. would be a great donation, because it's like 600 bucks. Oh, nice. And wow, there's a lot of hair on the floor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is Kenya. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Oh. Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. He is so, look at the size of his paws. Your paws are as big as my hands. Yeah. It's so unfair that they have so much hair and I have so little. The whole town celebrated a couple weeks ago when they opened the vet clinic and we came up and filmed it for Instagram. We put up some Instagram reels. So if you want to see more from us, short videos and pictures, follow us on Instagram. I'm so impressed with all the hard work Rebecca and Sharon, Jenna, and all the other crew with Paws for Alone and Coastal Animal Rescue did to get this vet clinic up and running. They worked with the members of the Alone Comuna and they were telling us they've already seen over 100 patients, so wow. Yeah, and they can use more donations to help mm -hmm. keep the thing running because a lot of people can't afford to pay for the vet bills that their, their pets need. So right. we'll put a link in the description below so that you can go donate to the Coastal Animal Rescue of Ecuador. They would greatly appreciate it, and so would we. Yes, we would. We donate every month to help out. The new vet clinic was our first big exciting announcement and big development for Alone, and the second, I'm hoping it's gonna to come to fruition. You guys may have heard us talk about this space right here. This used to be the one and only ATM machine in Alone, and apparently somebody stole it or demolished it the month before we moved here. Well, JP, let's walk around the corner for our exciting development number two. What is it? What is it, Amelia? Rumor has it we're getting a brand new ATM machine. I know, we're getting Woo! a new Banco del Pacifico. <laughs> right there. There's the hole for the new ATM. Oh, it looks so nice and pretty. I know, I'm wondering if they're gonna have, uh, if it's gonna be like a little branch. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we're really excited about this new ATM machine because now the closest one is at the Tia in Montanita. Yes, it'd be nice if we could just walk over here instead of having to drive over to Tia. Yeah, it sucked during the pandemic because <laughs> we had to go walk to Montanita to get cash. Yes. And nobody takes credit cards in this town. They are doing some renovation up here by mm -hmm. El Parque and El Centro, and they uncovered some old ancient clay pots from the indigenous people. They gonna what did they say? They're gonna bring in some, uh, some anthropologists, archaeologists, archaeologists yes. to come in and excavate here to see what else they can find. I know it's really exciting. I know we don't have any idea how old it is, but that sure looked old. It's awesome to see the mural completed. JP shared a couple videos on Instagram where the artists were creating the mural. I almost said video. <laughs> <laughs> And wow, it's so impressive. It really is beautiful. It really is. And it's right next to Roadhouse, which is also very popular. Yeah, Roadhouse is one of the popular gringo establishments yes. in Olón. Gringo and Ecuadorian. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they really did a lot to help out people during the pandemic, too. They did. Is this the mural that Rebecca's son painted? Yes, it is. He's so talented. I know. This is a cool mural. It is. It's really cool. Do you remember this place, Amelia? Yes, I do. This is one of the very first places we ate at when we came to Alone. I think when we visited before mm -hmm. we even moved here. And it's so good. The owner is so nice. Yeah, it's got great Italian food. And I love being able to sit down on the corner and people watch. Yes. This is Altamar, one of the popular gringo hangouts here in Alone, and it's a brewery and they have delicious beer too. They do have good beer. And we know the beer cook. <laughs> she always says, I have to go cook the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she from? Romania? Yes. She's Romanian. It's really cool to hear her say that. A lot of you have been asking if things are open here, and they are. Uh, most of the restaurants are, and stores are open now. We're just a little early for Altamar today. And a lot of places in Alone are closed on Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday. They kind of vary, but they are closed one or two days a week right. usually. Is this your new favorite store, Amelia? It could be. It's a new resale store in Alone. I'm really excited about it. It is called El Baul de Cata. I don't know what that means. I guess I need to look it up. But the clothes <laughs> are really cute. They do have cute stuff. And a lot of it is resale. Some of it's new. Correct. 
Find anything you like? Yeah, they have a lot of really cute things. I'll have to come back when I can actually try stuff on. Hey, bueno. Yes. <laughs> right. Muchas gracias. Oh, there they do accept clothes on consignment, so I don't know if it'll be consignment or maybe just a trade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they said they give you 50%. Yeah another new restaurant slash bar that's behind me called the Pink Iguana, which is owned by a couple of gringo residents here in Olone. And we've heard really good things. And JP, they're, they're also open for breakfast. Oh, cool. La Iguana Rosada. Si. <laughs> How you doing, Ravi? Very good. Fine. I think we're going to come here for lunch, aren't we? Yeah, so late lunch. All we're right. hungry. Vamos a comer. All right. <laughs> There's Francis. Uh -huh. Francis is here. From Sa Cuenca. From Cuenca. He works at, or he was working at Paradise when we were in Cuenca. Yes. This, you're our Chinu's nephew. Nephew, yes. Chinu. Oh, say hi to Chinu. She'll watch this. We miss Chinu. I know. We both miss Chinu horribly. Oh, my Chinu. We miss you. <laughs> Get something green, Amelia. Show the people the green food. I do love my green food. This vegetable. Benga, benga, benga. Rico. Mongols, grande, grande. <laughs> Those guys are always going around with their loudspeakers. Maybe we should do that, Amelia. We can have our loudspeakers and play our YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't think people would appreciate that. They're selling mangos, JP. Mangos, mango grande, y rico. They're selling six pounds of onions for one dollar. That is incredible. One dollar for wow. six pounds. Wow, if we wanted to make a bunch of onion soup, now's the time. <laughs> There's some of these peppers that I know Ravi uses in the cooking, and I think that they're super hot. They are super hot, but man, they're good. I know, we should try There's to... There's some red ones over I there. I know, I bet you those are really potent. We should try to grow some of these, JP, because we've had so much success I with know. our garden. We have such green thumbs. <laughs> it's more like black, brown, and moldy thumbs. <laughs> oh. Oh, that looks so good, Robbie. Ooh, that looks delicious. Vegan, no meat. No, well, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I love the chapate. I love all of it. It smells amazing. How is it, Amelia? It's delicious. Is it spicy? Over the top spicy. Not for me, anyway. I think mine is going to make me sweat. It always does. <laughs> yeah. JP, can you handle the spice? It's very, very spicy. You can ask for different levels of spiciness, but I always like mine really hot. And he makes it really hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours is always spicier than mine. Maybe my tolerance is just higher than yours. No, yours is always not as spicy as mine. Oh, there's a pea. Are you gonna lick the bowl? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I won't go that far. Amelia finished all of hers, and I still have half of mine left. Um, that's also you. You ate some of mine. I and ate one spoon. To mine taste. had no beans. Yours was loaded with filling vegetables. I know. It's and amazing. coconut tasted like coconut. Mm. It was very rico, muy rico. Thanks, Ravi. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. It's delicious. Yeah, thank you. It was amazing. Delicious yes. as always. As always. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. You want to go see if the turtle eggs are hatching? Yes, I don't think we'll see anything, but I'm very curious. Don't disturb the tortugas. I don't see anything, but we know for a fact that this is where a turtle came and laid her eggs because our friends, Maria del Carmen and Ravi, both witnessed it. Yeah, they have it on film. Yeah, it was really awesome. So it's in here. They're in there somewhere, little eggs. Well, and we've seen more down, up and down the coast. Yeah, there's a lot of these little nests. I know, it's so exciting. I think that's all we have for this video on conventionals. Yeah, if you're as excited as we are about having a new ATM machine, <laughs> something that you take for granted until you don't have it, <laughs> leave us a like. Yes, please. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you're happy for us to have an ATM <laughs> alone. Woo, and a vet. And a vet. <laughs> and new restaurants. All right, guys, we'll see, see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.